And many see the Capitol break-in as a grave attack on American democracy. And for others, including many black Americans, it represented much more. J.D. Career explains. These images bring a few emotions to mind for Vernon Wesley Thomas, a local attorney and Army Judge Advocate General Major. You know, had that been a, a group of individuals who, who were of color, right, had stormed the Capitol, and people would have not have been allowed to go through the Capitol, our nation's Capitol, with such reckless abandon like that. Like people walking through the nation's Capitol waving Confederate flags. For black Americans, symbols of white supremacy. That is a standout, straight up symbol of separatism. In the year that has passed, over 700 people have been arrested for storming the Capitol, with charges ranging from obstruction of justice to assault. Around a tenth of those individuals have been sentenced so far. More are expected to be sentenced soon. On the anniversary of the January 6th Capitol riot, House Republican Whip Steve Scalise issued this in a statement blaming Democratic leadership for the current state of our country. Scalise wrote, liberal and progressive politicians refuse to take responsibilities for their extreme policies like defunding the police. Defund the police being a movement born out of the summer protests sparked by the death of George Floyd. No, no go. Thomas says from his office location on North Claiborne, he witnessed the clashes between protesters and NOPD. His building was even tagged with no justice, no peace in the height of the protest. But he says it's wrong to equate the Capitol riot with the George Floyd protest. He says the riots in Washington, D.C. came after dozens of court cases failed to show the 2020 election was stolen. While the 2020 summer protest came after a clear video of a black man killed at the hands of police. Even the most diehard police advocate could not find any justification for what they did. Right. Eight minutes and 13 seconds on a man's neck. Now, a year later, Thomas says he remains optimistic that there's still hope for a truly United States of America. But he also says it won't come easy. It's going to take both sides being able to, 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 to righteously, and I mean righteously, hear one another about what the grievances are, what the problems are. We need to make sure that we're having that dialogue and that discourse and that, bottom line, we come up with solutions that can work for everybody because they can Working together towards unity, one hard conversation at a time. J.D. Career, Eyewitness News.